first thing uh, to think about when you're starting to paint is obviously how are you going to put this flower on the canvas. So I'm going to begin by taking a little bit of my uh, paint here. If you want to see how I set up my palette, uh, you can watch my starter set video at jerrysartorama.com where I show exactly what I have set up and how I do it. Um, so for starting to place this flower on the page, the first thing I want to do is look at this, um, the center of the flower and kind of place where I want that to be. And I'm going to look at this line of these petals coming across here that seem to be going like that. And the center of the flower sits low in here. So this is what I'm going to focus on as being the center of this flower. And then I like to kind of divide the picture into quarters. And then I can kind of relate more to where I want things to be on the page. Um, so this, <clears throat> excuse me, this petal is coming down here. This one is, line is shooting out to the side, but not all the way to halfway. So that's the kind of thing I want you to think about. Where is halfway? And this is coming out in this direction. Now I have another angle coming down here. If, um, if you try to simplify things to the basic angles, then you can put in the, the curvatures and the shapes that make it more interesting. So this will be the angle of this petal. There's another petal coming out over here, and it's coming right at about halfway down the uh, canvas, a little bit lower than that. So we'll have this one coming here. Again, it is coming out more than halfway between here and here. Come up, swoop down. And here we have another angle coming across here. So we can look at this this way, this is coming down. I'm seeing the center is of the uh, page, which would be right here. This comes down, maybe like that. And it doesn't have to be exact, but if you want to get these nice flowing shapes, it, it helps to try to place the flower on the canvas. So you can see that I didn't start out by actually painting, drawing a flower. I started out by trying to get the basic angles of the flower and place it on the page. And I also want to look at these corners, which are these dark areas, because those are important in the painting. It's not just the flower. These negative shapes are uh, part, of the, part of the painting itself. So be sure and look at those um, and make sure that they're not all the same. So this shape down here is going to have, we have this petal coming out here, and it's got a few little loop-de-doops, and this one comes out here, and it has a nice angle to it there. So this corner is going to be, you know, have kind of these curly cues, these, these, uh, organic shapes. This one over here is much straighter and so that makes this corner different than this corner and it has a couple little things that stick out. This is smaller, one loop, and this one is more simple up here. So that's the basic shape of the flower. And then the thing that I find most interesting about this flower and I um, and what drew me to it and why I took the photograph of it is the light coming through it. This luminosity of this backlit flower and the wonderful shapes that are um, there, not only in the petal shapes, but also in the sunlit area coming through. And using transparent and opaque paint is what I find to be the key to, gather, to get this uh, very luminous feeling. So. I'm going to I'm going to sketch in the uh, shadow shapes, 
and then apply the translucent paints, the transparent paint, and then we'll paint over some of that with opaque paint. So I'm just taking a little bit of the, the um, permanent rose with a little bit of my medium here, and I'm going to look at what these basic shadow shapes are. And there's one coming down here. There's a little bit of light on this edge here, so I'm going to show a little bit of that light. There's some light here, in here, and then this shape is all in darkness. There's a little light right here. And the reason I'm kind of drawing these in is so that I can make sure that, first of all, that I don't miss them and cover it with darker paint but also to be able to make sure that the shapes of these work. So I think everything in painting is about shapes and shapes and color and um, values incredibly important. So in this step, you're kind of looking at all of that. And I can see that there's a shadow coming right through here and so I'm going to kind of connect that so that I know that's there. I think this petal should actually come up here a little higher. And there's an interesting light shape on this. And there's all this darkness going down in here in the middle of this flower. As it sits down inside, you want to be able to create that depth and warmth that is in the center of the flower as the sunlight is coming through the outer edges. And this is, there we go. Um, these fundamental principles are, are true in almost anything that you paint. Um, really looking at the light and shadow, the shapes. So there, I feel like that's giving me a, a basic guideline now for everything that's going to go on in the painting. <laughs>